Welcome to the Life Curation Podcast. I'm your host, Andrina Tisi. Together, we will explore thoughts, inspirations, and conversations that feed our soul, spark the mind, and nourish the body. Thank you so much for being here to learn and grow and for walking this journey called life with me. Welcome back. Welcome for the first time. Thank you for being here on the Life Creation Podcast. I just finished a wonderful chat with Karina van Bremen Diemer. Karina <laughs> is a true power Frau in a strong yet soft and feminine way. Shamanism is her way of life and she works with women in a shamanic way for almost nine years now. In our conversation, she introduces us to shamanism and we talk about the power of sisterhood, different rituals like sweat lodges, womb blessing and water blessing and Karina really shares as much as she can in you know the 50 minutes um, almost an hour we had together their magic and what it's kind of about karina helps women connect to their inner knowing and their intuition through these rituals as well as with one-on-one -on -one coaching she lives together with her husband and her two teenagers in an old farmhouse in the northeast of the Netherlands. And I was there in October and oh my God, <laughs> they have such a beautiful space. And soon an Airbnb. So I will update the show notes as soon as that is ready. <laughs> Besides her shamanistic work she's also a certified consciousness coach and psychodynamic therapist in education before she started her own practice four years ago she worked as a psychiatric nurse for 15 years and was always inspired and curious how the mind works and why we are doing what we're doing when she was 17, she became acquainted with the shamanic way of living by her mother. So Karina has a long history of teachings by example. And you will feel it in, her con in our conversation. Karina loves what she does. And I wish you lots of fun, lots of inspiration listening in. Thank you for being here. Karina, so nice to have you. How are you? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> now I have to say thank you for having me. No. <laughs> exactly. All that might be, all right? <laughs> yeah. How am I? Yeah, I'm uh, excited. Good. I'm excited to, uh, it's yeah. my first podcast. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited and looking forward. Yeah. I'm excited and very honored to have you. <laughs> thank you. And so the first four questions are very spontaneous, whatever comes up. And there is obviously with any questions, there is no right and wrong. So you just go with it. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite season? Ooh. <laughs> the first thing that pops up, I will say spring and then the fall. <laughs> but the <laughs> spring. Mm -hmm. okay. Nice. If you could, what superpower would you have? Oh, wow. I would be... I could fly. Yeah. Me too. I would. Yeah, yeah really. Can you imagine? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Spread our wings and go. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no borders. Just... <laughs> <laughs> what is always in your fridge? Oh, jeez. Cheese. Oh, yes. Some yes. Good, some good Dutch cheese. Exactly. Yes. 
Which book is currently on your bedside table? Um, it's the, the book of J.B. Sands. She's a Native American and uh, she uh, passed away last year. And it's the uh, 13 original clan mothers. Ooh. It's a shamanism book. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I will look that up and we will link it in the show notes. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So that's actually a really good um, leeway into our topic today. So yeah. <laughs> if you would introduce or describe shamanism to somebody, how would that look like, sound like, be like? <laughs> yeah, and, and um, it's a question that I uh, uh, have a lot. Um, that if people ask me, what are you doing? Or what, is, what, is, what do, are you doing for work? I say, oh, it's a lot. I can't explain it in just one sentence. Um, but a, shaman, mm -hmm, a try. <laughs> yeah, we have time. <laughs> so, okay, okay. No, a, sh uh, uh, a shamanism. It's 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 really basic. It's really going back to the basics. Uh, working with nature and working with yourself as a part of nature. Mm -hmm. And um, um, it's very 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 simple. Just. Um, 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 be uh, outside, uh, go into the woods or go to the beach or um, connect with the beach, um, not just uh, walking into a forest, but be in the forest and look at the trees and smell what you are smelling and uh, uh, yeah, be present. It's, I think it's be present in where... Um, where you are doesn't matter where, but um, yeah, be present in 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 which place, eh? like the beach or or uh, the forest or whatever. So for me, it's it's uh, connecting with myself um, when I'm uh, full in my head. Mm -hmm. yes. For me, it's very important to uh, uh, to go into my body because we are living in a in a in a society. Um, that we, um, yeah, live too much in our head. And, and that's uh, of the industri industrial time. Um, since then, we are more focused on doing things and not being. Yeah, it's, it's a human, we are human beings and we are not human doing. So um, I think that's the explanation more. And um, before the industrial time, we, we as people were more on the land, working with the land, working with everything what is in nature. And, um, and especially the last years, uh, the upcoming for, uh, from the internet and um, the killer for, 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 for me and as um, me as a mother also, uh, is is the is the iPhones is the is the is the yeah, the, the Androids and that even I do that that I look on look on Facebook on my phone you know and and um, uh, twenty years ago I didn't ha even had internet or even even I think eight years ago I had my first my first um, Android and. I'm looking now and I'm sometimes I also uh, I'm looking at my phone. And I'm not connected with my body. So I cannot feel, if not, I'm not aware. I cannot feel where, how does my body, um, how is it? How, how is my body doing? Because our body is so connected with our spirit, uh, with our mind, with our, with our, yeah, with our being, that if we don't listen to our bodies anymore, then we get sick and... Like burnout yeah, we have a burnout or depression of whatever um, uh, or cancer or <laughs> you yeah. name it yeah you name it um, so uh, for me shamanism is 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 um, connecting more with ourselves with our essence with who we really are yeah beautiful so it really helps us to come back to our body and to yeah feeling really what's going yeah. on and I can I can really relate I can also I, I get also really caught up in the doing mm. <laughs> right I think as a society um, it's also very accepted to be, be very good at the doing 
and the being gets left behind exactly yeah, yeah. so exactly. um yeah so it's beautiful what you say in terms of how shamanism can support us to reconnect and use it as a practice to constantly reconnect yes yes yeah and how does um or other like different the question what does sisterhood mean to you wow sisterhood yeah I work, <laughs> as a woman's coach i work oh, oh, yeah with sisters and i give sweat load so i work a lot with sisters and um for me it's like um coming home with each other mm -hmm. um, because we have the the biological system uh, is is the same um and the wombs our wombs our breasts our 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 physical bodies our uh, our power of intuition um how we are how we are biological biological or how we are created in a way like we are and um to connect with each other and um Yeah, that's for me very powerful. And for me, it's different when I connect with uh, with my brothers or with my husband. It's it's another connection. It's it's not better or uh, um, that's has nothing to do with that. But it for me, it's it's different. And um, of course, I have also a relationship with with women and sisters in in the in the early days. And for me, it's um, It's about tr true sister uh, sisterhood and what is true sisterhood. It's for me that uh, it's very important that we nourish each other and we um, we are tr true to ourselves and true to the other. So no uh, agenda, hidden agenda there. Um, look into each other's eyes and open up and nothing to hide there and have each other's back or <laughs> boom <laughs> you know so yeah that's for me for me really really uh, really important and um also for me to open up yeah. and, and not as a as a coach uh, uh also as a coach but also when i am just me and and have my sisters around me then i am Uh, I also want to to um, want to have the feeling to lean back and to feel safe, and um, to feel safe to show myself mm -hmm. for all that I am, and with all my um, uh, um, yeah, how to call it, uh, um, with my with my. Uh, <laughs> with my humor but also not only the good things but also the shadows that i have yeah? and also the, the crumpiness that when i am overloaded in my head that i can say well, oh, i'm crumpy and i am i'm like that and that and that the uh, sister just say hey that's okay that's fine and yeah just be and just uh, um yeah not all the time but if, if, if i acknowledge that it's there and that it's not in the way in connection just to to say it aloud to bring it into the space so that it can uh, dissolve yeah that is really for me very important and also to to lean back and to yeah and we call it in in, in dutch it's laughing that i can can lay lay down and just don't have to do something you know to to carry always the other or um yeah and and for me it was it needed some time to uh make a reconnection with the true sisterhood for me yeah because of all the damage that was there in the past of yeah friends who and i think also again the programming right mm -hmm. like and i think um also again society is not really supporting us in that way and i think amongst, mm -hmm. unfortunately i do think amongst women there's a lot of competition there's a lot of jealousy yes um and i mean i know 
how I feel with my sisters. And it's exactly what you say. It's the place of, of safety and of rawness in a way, but also of calling me out. <laughs> yeah, true. Well, maybe you need to look at that. <laughs> Right. So I think it's that safe space where everything has space. That's for me. Right. And I'm curious to hear for you also in your experience with, you know, rituals and also the the shamanic way, how, you know, sisterhood and the shamanism also come together. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, you know the times where we you know would just you know sit around the fire and yeah. sing together and now we're on zoom <laughs> but, yes, yes. You know, yeah. at least we have we can connect but um you know so many things have changed right mm -hmm. and um yeah how does shamanism bring in this sisterhood um into yeah into our lives into women's lives or or you really also because you do um all these rituals and and so so tell us a little bit yeah for me it's like organizing facilitating um um to uh get my sisters uh, and and not my sisters who are nearby but also sisters who uh, don't know me or had just to connect with with the drum yeah, to, to say hey we are tonight we have a home um yeah i do i do call it um, um i invite the women to come over and to sit at the fireplace and to make a a, a real beautiful space where we sit around yeah so in in in, in on, on on blankets or on a sheep uh, uh how do you call it sheep sheepskin sheepskin thank you and then um yeah to welcome everybody and to to listen to be present with with uh with the other and uh to connect and um to hear what what does uh bring you here does what are you where or what are you want to to um yeah what do you what do you want mm -hmm. what are you bringing and what are you giving and um and then we drum and then we sing or we we are creative uh, uh with uh, paint or with uh, making uh, making things for the seasons of or whatever uh, um so or sit around the fire outside uh, just like that or we make a walk uh, to the to the forest or um, um so but that's that's a little bit in in the small and in the, in the in the daily life huh? like uh, uh, for two weeks ago, I had uh, organized with another sister a dance evening, yeah. a translative uh, dance evening. And just like it pops up like, hey, I, 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 of course, I have the space here, but I really want to do this. I, I really feel it. And and we were there with 11 women and just danced the whole night, two hours, you know, and and and, and connecting with each other and dance with each other and, and and cry and laugh and everything was there. So. Yeah, that's 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 beautiful, and and that's also a ritual. Yeah? And um, rituals are every day, not only from 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 the uh, aspect of shamanism, but also like every day I brush two times a day my teeth. I uh, um, I wake up in the morning and I I, I take my coffee. There's also a ritual. So yeah, um, and. In shamanism, we 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 use. If I use uh, fire, or uh, I use um, the sweat lodge ceremony, or um, um, womb blessings. So that's a little bit bigger huh? in, in in ceremony, and that takes a day or a few hours. And also, people come there, especially for huh? the the sweat lodge or for the womb blessing. Um, so yeah, that's a ceremony. <laughs> um, yeah so that yeah that's that's um yeah that's how it works and that's yeah, yeah. and i i feel that a lot of women also men but but a lot of women are more and more uh, reunited and more connecting and um in, in holland it is in the netherlands in holland it's very 
very popular also to coming more and more and more together to um, be in the in the in the in the simple way yeah and i think i think that's what something what you mentioned at the beginning in terms of you know the the technology you know which you know we're grateful for but it also can um move us away from these communities um yeah. and i think the everybody feels the the kind of the you know the polarities in many different ways but in terms of the polarity of the technology but then also the the need and the desire for the complete opposite right to like come together to to go back into nature and i think we we see that a lot and 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 thank goodness there is opportunities of course i wish i would live closer to you so could i come and dance with you <laughs> not only that but other things you know just mm -hmm. But we will have our time together in a physical space. <laughs> um, space yes. And um, yeah, and I think then it comes into this space of safety again, or this sense of safety, what you said. And I think I think also what I was what popped up for me when you were talking about is also this then we recognize sisters. Yeah. And you know, we recognize each other in minutes right and i think that's also very beautiful because it also can create intimacy very fast and yeah. and, and that's also something that's beyond our conscious knowing right so um i'm sure you you have you know you experience that a lot in your circles and in your work mm -hmm. and i think it's for me it's very important to lift each other up to help each other grow and like you said before like uh, the, the 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 society is more like uh, uh like um uh, yeah um have uh, have jealousy um letting each other down uh make a joke uh gossip yes. and of course we are all human beings and uh, i'm not uh totally uh clear of that but um but i learned and, and i like I, what, what does what does what helps me what helps the other and what helps have the bigger the bigger whole so that what serves not helps but serves what serves so if i think about a sister and i feel like okay she's doing la 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 and i don't like that of course that happens and then i look into that like hey okay of course i do a self reflection but also i look into that and i I, I connect with my higher self and is it really necessary to give the feedback there? Is it really necessary to, is it, is it, is it, is it um, surfing the whole? Yeah. And I think in shamanism and in the, in the work that I do also as a, um, uh, uh, yeah, the, the uh, how do you call it? Um, yeah, water gieter. <laughs> I don't know the, the, the name of, uh, um, the space holder keeper of the sweat lodge yeah i give sweat lodge and for me i'm it's so important to i serve the whole it's not about me yes yes of course i am there to give the teachings that i've learned i have i i had it passed through yeah, with my mother but also with other teachers um but it's not about me so when i am triggered that's my trigger and um, I really am responsible for all the women or men in the sweat lodge, for all the 15 persons there. And I need to be really in, in connection with myself and with my own shadows and everything what's there to look into what serves the whole. Yes. And I think that's a beautiful, beautiful message that, you know, we can keep remembering especially also yeah. in, you know it's it's always very important and i think the the connection to nature what you also um mentioned in terms of when you introduce shamanism helps mm -hmm. the, of course the, the, i mean i had this situation a couple of days ago where i got triggered mm -hmm. and i had to go into the woods yeah right? and i had to move my body right so it goes right back into that like move my body process all that emotion and, and you know i'm also a, 
yeah, a physical person where that helps me, right? Get out of my head into, into, my, into my body and connect. And then of course nature helps. And then my dog is with me and then, then it's all, all, <laughs> all. Yeah, yeah, true. yeah. And you know, the, the trigger may not be, you know, gone or I don't have a solution at this point, but I, I, it helped me to just get out of this mode of paralyzation. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, and I think I can also very resonate what you say in terms of it's not, you know, it's it's the teaching, the the it's it's about the greater good, and it's about the ripple effect, and about, um, yeah, tickling that wisdom that mm -hmm. people have, and you're you're kind of you can you can spark that fire in people, right? Mm -hmm. Which is beautiful, right? Yeah, and it's also always for me a question from which place I come from yeah. inside of me. Always like, okay, what and not only what does it serve, of course, but also from which place am I coming from? Yeah. Which place am I coming from? And that 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 asks a lot of consciousness yeah. and awareness. Um, and that's uh, yeah, um, training. And of course, I've also got get get triggered sometimes, <laughs> especially in a relationship. <laughs> yeah, of course. But hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And also, we have also an energetic body. So, like you told, hey, go into the forest and and to to be in my body and to shake it off. Yeah, that's really important because otherwise you get an in in in, in stuckness also in your body, like in your shoulders or or in your back or in your hips. So yeah, that's all energy that are giving blockades, block blockades, yeah. Um, yeah. And, and then it's not not it's not streaming anymore. It's not flowing anymore. So yeah, it's, it's really yeah. good and really uh, advise people also like uh, if I have had something where I'm angry or I'm, I'm shocked at something, I will ooh, loosen up like sh by shaking and just shake it off. Yeah. Uh, the, the the animals do, do that. So why don't we? <laughs> No, we have to stay in our head and we have to analyze everything. Yeah. Yeah. We have a body. <laughs> we have a body, yeah. And I do yeah. think we can, like, we can learn a lot from, from the animals. In, yeah, really. In sh shaking is one of the things, right? Yeah. When, when a cat uh, fell into, it fell into water, they, and of course, they are. There are cats who like water, but the most of them don't. Yeah. If you if you see them with the paw, so like, <laughs> and I think, okay, that was an, a nasty experience for them, and and then they they loosen up by choo -choo -choo, and then there's this, you see, yeah, I I can see the energy is then foo -foo -foo, absolutely, you know? and it's so interesting. I just um, started um, a Maito um, Bildung, so. Uh, um, certification in somatic experiencing and of course mm -hmm. it's a lot about the trauma right and yeah. and you know how and we can learn from the animals how to process it it's so beautiful and we actually watched videos and like slow motion and you could see like the different like the nervous system and like the you know and like all these theories that we know we can actually just look at the animals and see how they process them right it's so beautiful exactly and, and, and yeah, but you have to be aware of that and to make oh. the connection there. Like, hey, how does how does an animal do that? Yeah, uh, 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 yeah, exactly. They don't they don't wear a backpack with all sh kind of shit of trauma. <laughs> we do, <laughs> we, we, yeah, because we are so also like uh, addicted to our trauma, huh? in, in 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 some ways. And um, but that's another subject. But. <laughs> Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. I can see that a lot of um, work is working with the body, yeah. and, and that's also what what shamanism for me is. And going back to to where it all began, be, 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 be begun, back to the roots of our own um, being. Yeah, and that brings me to you mentioned it, the womb blessing and the sweat lodges. And mm -hmm. you know, I just recently had or, or did or partook or yeah, whatever <laughs> you say it in my first sweat lodge. Yeah. And how was it? 
it was amazing. Like, honestly, I was kind of scared, like, to be very honest. <laughs> I mean, scared is maybe too strong, but I was very respectful of it and saying, like, you know, I know it can be tense. And, uh, but I really, really, really loved it. And I also know everyone is different. Every sweat lodge. And, but it was really, for me, um, such a, well, first of all, very connected to nature, but mm-hmm. also very connected to myself and to my femininity. And I felt very alive. Mm-hmm. And just beautiful. Mm-hmm. Right? Um I know. <laughs> I know you do, and I want to know more from you. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Tell us about these rituals. Like, you know, there's, and I think there's also water blessing. Um, and yeah, just tell us a little bit. Let's start with sweat lodge. Um, I, I'm doing sweat lodges for 15 years now. I, yeah. uh, was teached by my mother. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was teached by the Lakota uh, sweat lodge and um, their ceremonies, their traditions. And um, for now, I am pouring the water now for I think more than two years, almost three, yeah, three years. And um, um, it's big responsibility. Like I said before, you need to care. I need to carry myself. Otherwise, and I think it's with every ceremony. Otherwise, I can't not carry a ceremony. If you do ayahuasca or you do uh, other kinds of ceremonies, I think that's the base rule for me. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, uh, of course, the sweat lodge is it, it's like it, it, it's 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 the womb. Yeah. And the fireplace, the stones are getting hot for two hours in the fireplace, and and then the the, the stones are. Um, are uh, coming into the, the the sweat lodge into the womb and the fireplace is, is the is the male aspect and the and the sweat lodge the inip is the is the male uh, the female aspect so there is so much to tell about the whole ceremony um, if you have another now another hour but uh, <laughs> um, but for me the connection um, the connection for me sweat lodge sweat lodge has got everything for me the connection with mother earth the connection with myself sitting on mother earth um and the connection with the with the with the above with a with the spirit world with uh the universe with the prayers with everything so um yeah for me it's it's real uh yeah it's 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 i don't know i have the words for it but it's all coming together for me in a sweat lodge ceremony. And, um, and that's why I love it. And that's why I'm, yeah, I'm good at it <laughs> because I'm not doing something I am. And I think that's, that's the, that's the, um, yeah, I think that's the biggest, um, yeah, important thing the most important thing um, to do and to to do something what is so close to you. Yeah? So sweat lodge, giving sweat lodge is so close to me um, that I am I am in in totally in my being. And I of course I um, I have my my um, my, my knowledge. Yeah? Uh, like what's uh, what stands for the west what's the north what's the east what's the south, south which animals which elements uh what are the stories there yeah but i never never know before i give sweat lodge what is what what pops up of course i have a red um um uh yeah red the, red thread well yeah thank you um but uh, I, 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 and that's that's why I love the magic also of the sweat lodge. I never know it is because the, it's the energy also from the people who are who are there and what what uh, what um, the, what the theme is what uh, uh, is 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 uh, connected in the most of the time. Sometimes it's self love or uh, most times it's self love, but self love or it's sexuality or it's inner child work. So it's a lot of um, ingredients. Um, what can pop pop up, 
and we do a lot of prayers and we do a lot of singing and and it's not like uh, we we drink tea and la la da, 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 da. no it's it's focused and it's really um, with a lot of um, yeah presence focused and um, but also with humor. Yes. It's not only that, okay, I am doing sweat lodge now when I can't pa uh, um, pass the, 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 the spirit uh, 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 entrance and I need to really go with, uh, you know, on my knees into sweat lodge. And, but, <laughs> you know, if you take life too serious, <laughs> then we say, hey, coyote in the south is coming and to wake you up and to say, yoo-hoo, don't take yourself too serious. Um, so I also like like the tradition in a way like that, and it's uh, it's also humor, and, and so important, right? And I that's that's what I also loved when I when I experienced it is that all that symbolism, but also yeah, like absolutely the humor and, mm -hmm. and the wisdom that comes, right? And and the wisdom that comes from, of course, the teacher, the wisdom that comes from nature, the wisdom that comes from the tradition. The wisdom that comes from the, the, the people that are there, exactly what, yeah. what you said. And it's yeah. and again coming back to that sense of um I mean we spoke about the sisterhood before, but it's you know it, it's it's even like when you come in as a you know with you know as a group all together, right? It creates then intimacy and, and trust very fast when you come into a space like that. But of course that also has to be held by the teacher or you know like the yeah. space in yeah. essence right and and within that space there's a lot uh, uh, a lot possible yeah a lot of uh, i am sometimes I know, it's, it's so guy that that's the the, the um that the sweat lodge is so can be so magical and so um trans uh, trans transformative uh, yeah. yeah transformative and and I'm like, wow, I see uh, uh, people coming to the sweat lodge and they're closed. You know, I can feel it in the energy, closed eyes, um, more like, okay, this is me. And, doo -doo -doo -doo. and then they go in sweat lodge and they come out and they're really reborn. They're really like open, open to life. And I'm like, wow, I was, I was there to be the hub for, yeah, for, for the people who can, can, can open up again to and feel the connection with that with, with themselves with themselves again and um yeah there's no better job between the <laughs> the notes uh, uh, um no but it's 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 really my mission my mission and my passion and uh, i hope i can do it for many 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 years <laughs> well yeah. it's really i mean i can really sense how um passionate you are about you know in that and you know we can really feel how your whole your whole being vibrates for it and so it's it's really it's really beautiful and you know the this the sweat lodge being the womb you also do womb blessing mm -hmm. right yeah. yeah yeah how does that is that also part of a sweat lodge or is that completely different now uh, uh next year we are combining it <laughs> Ooh, yeah. send, send me the date <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah in may i think um but uh in once a year as a group uh, of course i'm not doing only the sweat lodge we have a, a big group of uh, of uh, people there uh, because it's also a lot of work to to um uh, uh, um to um host yeah host but also to be we are we are keepers of the ground yes okay. also mm -hmm. to make things beautiful to to um I, ca I can't get the word in my head but um we are keepers of the ground yeah. and uh, uh to make it all possible so behind the scenes there's a lot of work there um uh, so it's not only for the outside world the ceremony so uh, we have a lot of uh, of uh, people who helps us and uh, but um so next year we and in one time a year we do sweat lodge with a combination of a dance or a fire dance or um whatever kind of ceremony um and next year we are uh, uh um organizing uh, the sweat lodge and uh, a womb blessing first the sweat lodge and then of first the womb blessing and then the sweat lodge and um 
yeah, a womb blessing, it's not uh, from, um, it's also a kind of shamanism, but it's coming from the jungle, from the Moon Aiki. And um, it's uh, also, I think, the uh, 12, 12 rituals of the Moon Aiki. And uh, I got also a few years ago uh, uh, several uh, moon blessings for myself. And then I go to the, the rites of the 13 moons of um, bleeding and uh, make connection with my womb. So, of course, we learned in the society that our yoni is ba, is uh, bleeding is ow, it's uh, so it's all heavy and to reconnect with our wombs again. So that's what the womb blessing is, is a blessing. And um, um, I, I, I do it on my way uh, uh, to, to, to call the, the spirits, to call the, the spirits of the, um, of the um, windrichtingen. Yes, the, the, yeah. yeah. Uh, the east, the north, the, oh. <laughs> Direction. Yeah. Directions, indeed. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I, I do it on my way. And um, yeah, to help women to reconnect indeed with their womb again. And um, that's a whole ritual uh, of, of uh, being very, um, it's like a family, not a family, but like a constellation. Like what are you want to bring into your life? What are you want to bring into your womb? And what are you want to 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 let out? To let let it out and and to do it with. I do it in one on one sessions, but it's very powerful to do it with a group of women. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, to to of course, it's a beautiful uh, ceremony ritual to do it in combination with with sweat lodge. So, but in next year, it will be the first time that we are uh, going to facilitate facilitate that. So, yeah, looking forward. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's our connection indeed with, with our, um, with the dark also inside of us because our womb is dark, our yoni is dark and it's the, not only the dark side of the feminine, um, to be conscious and aware of that, like I, I said in the beginning, the, the shadow sides, but there's also our, our intuition, our inner knowing and to reconnect with that. To, to if if I connect with my inner knowing with my inner wisdom, wow! And I'm so powerful. That's that's where life begins. That's what creation is. There's no place for fear, not anymore. You know. So that's is really an an um. It's a healing. Uh, it's a healing ritual. Yeah. And the beauty of that is that if you get the womb blessing, and uh, you can give it also to other women if you feel like hey yeah i want to give th that also to my sisters um after you do not only you have to do it for 13 months but they they recommend that like yeah like do it also first the practicing um to really make connection with the womb um, and then you can you can uh, give it to your sisters and so that's that's the the, the meaning of the womb blessing that if I give it to my sister, then my sister can give it to her sister. And then there's the, the web of our ectomy from spider, you know, uh, like the, 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 the weaver of life, the, the combiner, the, the connection with all the dots there, like a web over the world. And uh, this is how I see it. And then, um, yeah, then there we are healed more and more into our, our, our our wombs yeah so this is really really beautiful, beautiful. Uh, oh my God. yeah yeah <laughs> it is really soft it's a really soft uh, ritual yeah yeah the you mentioned you know the inner knowing and the intuition and how can we kind of on a daily basis, you know, maybe even like, you know, like you said earlier on, like eat, brushing our teeth, drinking coffee is a ritual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that sense of inner wisdom and intuition, maybe in your experience or also, you know, in the shamanic way and the, the, the beautiful combination of, of, of you and that, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, how can we constantly reconnect when we feel like we we need to 
to that intuition and inner wisdom? For me, what helps is just as simple to make connection with my hands to my womb. Just like people do like, oh, to their hearts, like do it to the womb. Yeah. Make, make, make connection with your body again. Huh? And, 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 and I'm going to sit down and if, uh, what, also what's going on in the world in this moment with, uh, with COVID, I feel and I, I go to my womb and I, I breathe and I breathe into my womb and then I relax more and then I'm more here in the here and now. And yeah, and then I make just connection, it's simple as that. And like you br brush your teeth, just be present with, with your womb, with my womb, yeah. just to, to put my hands there. And even then, and then, and then you can feel like, hey, maybe I need a, also a hand on my heart mm. or on my head or whatever, what pops up. That's your intuition, what then, then pops up. And then it's on us to, to hear it. Yeah, I just listen. Just listen. Listen what, what your body tells you. Mm -hmm. yeah, like if you're too much on your shoulders, like, okay, what, are, what does it feel like? And what is your body telling you? Because there are the, all, the, the, all the signs and the answers are there, but we don't listen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So connection with your hands to your, to your womb. Yeah. And just sit with it and that doesn't have to go in meditation for 30 minutes but, but because then i have a real connection no that's bullshit just go sit and relax and it can be for five minutes or two or whatever that's what if you open up to it then it it will flow yeah, yeah. so beautiful um <laughs> anything else um that you feel like we didn't touch on that you would like to share um i know you we also talked we also quickly mentioned water blessing right i don't know if you want to talk about that water blessings yeah yeah that's also a really important uh important uh ritual for, for not, well, from shamanism but, but not only from shamanism but it, it because water is life and also water is connected with your womb yes okay. and a lot of womb blessings i uh, prefer working we work with what with water in the womb blessing in the womb blessing but i love to go to nearby here where uh, where we live there's a beautiful lake and i go with with my women to the lake and to do the ritual there and um the the uh, within the womb blessing i ask the women when they come, they bring some water from their own place, from a lake or whatever, a little stream. And then we mix the water in a bowl, all the waters from all the places. Oh, yeah. And then, yeah, and then we do the ritual. And in the end of the ritual, all the water, we pour it back to all the bottles. So it's mixed waters. And there's sort of a lot of, of, of love energy in there and healing energy. And the last little bit of water I give to the lake. So the, uh, um, the energy of the lake and the healing of the waters in the lake, it's all connected all, because exactly, yeah, I have water from Glastonbury. I have water from um, the south of Holland. I think of all of Holland of, <laughs> after all those blessings, even from uh, indeed uh, Glastonbury, but Do uh, Deutschland, from uh, Germany, um, you know. So that's so so beautiful. And 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 water blessings, yeah. We give something back to the water because we are 70, 80 percent water. I love water. I yeah. uh, and I, I mean there is, I mean the whole also like cold water therapy which becomes much more you know you know much more popular um but in general just like water is cleansing water is you know like you said we are water right and um water is carrying us it carrying us right you, you know and, and 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 yeah it's cleansing indeed also it's cleansing and i i i love when i'm like you know go swimming and then like underwater and there's just this like stillness and then the the movement in the water and it just feels so yeah i i i love it um yeah, yeah. 
So it's water is important, and and also the blessings. It doesn't have to mean that uh, doesn't mean that I do it in very big groups. There are a lot of of, of groups now in in Holland, uh, really thankful for that. Um, but I, sometimes I go alone to the water and I do my blessings there, or I, I give a stone or a, um, um, a crystal. I give crystals to the water, um, or just my blessings. <laughs> just say hey I do my prayers there and I say thank you water just say thank you water I love you water mm -hmm. thank you that you're there you're or if you're not there what huh? we don't we, we we aren't here either so <laughs> there's no water there's no life no water no life mm -hmm. so water is life <laughs> so yeah that's why it's very important and uh, yeah and the connection also and of course when I'm in a in a group um, and we have all the positive vibes there, then, then it spreads, yeah, it spreads and it's, it's becoming healthier and um, the water. And yeah, we pray also for, for people who don't have water. Uh, we, we, we have, we have uh, I, I, I have water when I need it. You know, I don't have to walk for water for two hours or whatever. And even yeah. it's not clean. So we are so lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think it's also, you know, the, the connection to the elements, right? And of course, water is one of the elements. And I think also this, this summer, we also, you know, experienced again, how powerful that element can be in, you know, various, you know, in areas where there is not enough water and in areas where there is too much water, right? So we, I think it also brings us and not only with, with water, but in, in, you know, in, in any of the elements, we also, it, it makes me also a lot of times very humble because, exactly. you know, to, to see, hey, we're such a mm -hmm. little, little being in the big space, right? Exactly what you say. Yeah. Be humble because of the elements, they are also destroying yeah. in a way. So uh, like fire, like like even the wind, like orca, uh, organon, um, mm -hmm. uh, um, um, earth, earth can, you know, uh, yeah, that's nature also. So it's not... Um, taking it taking it taking the elements for granted and yeah, that's and I think, I think, yeah and correct me if i'm wrong but i have a feeling that shamanism brings that wisdom mm -hmm. from the elements and also we talked we know we talked a little bit about the animals but yeah. into the whole right into in part part of of yeah. of us in a way and of mm -hmm. our, our, our our life right yeah. but you are so disconnected like um, I grew up in the in a for, uh, in a little little village, you know. I live also here in the north of the Netherlands. I have all the space here, but I can smell when it's it's going to rain. Yes, I can smell it. But a lot of people are looking at me like, "What? You're you're wacky." No, but I can really smell it, and I can smell the seasons are changing, and I can smell um, even feel in my body when when uh, it's getting colder. And when and the snow is coming, I smell the snow. snow. coming, exactly, right. because I get a headache or uh, I have some um, scars when I say, oh, it's like itchy or like, mm -hmm, okay. And, and if we look at the animals, I had horses when I, um, a, a few years ago, and I, I, I could, and when I even look at my horse, I could say, okay, it's not a good day to go to ride. Because yeah. there was some, and I didn't even check the weather outcast, but I could see it through the animals, you know, and, 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 and the animals are so pure and so um, still in, in, in have a, a good connection with, 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 with the elements, with nature. Yeah, when we see that, right, like with, you know, whether it's earthquakes or, or mm -hmm. big storms, like the animals, no, they exactly. go. They go. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, because they listen and they don't have distractions. <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 wonderful yeah, yeah. you go on <laughs> <laughs> for hours <laughs> but i think the most yeah most yeah. things are said so yeah. back to the thank question you. yeah thank so, you so 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 much uh, yeah. i cannot wait to come back to holland <laughs> <laughs> so welcome I'll bring, I'll bring you some some swiss water yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, we can do a, a boom blessing here. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. 
<laughs> really, thank you for for having me. And um, yeah, I, I found it very uh, yeah, still exciting. I'm full of energy now. <laughs> full of energy. <laughs> a lot of energy. Yeah. So uh, really, really, yeah, giving the platform the space to talk about my passion and uh, mission in life. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Yes. Welcome. <laughs> I am still on fire after this conversation. Thank you, Karina, for sharing your insights and your wisdom. Oh, I cannot wait to bring you water from Switzerland and sit with you around the fire. Dear listener, you will find Karina's information in the show notes. She does online coaching. And if you're in Holland, go look her up for a sweat lodge, a womb blessing rituals, or a one-on-one -on -one session. Thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing us to be in your ears. Thank you.